Okay, well, it is a new day for you, and it is the same day for us. We are at a Finders Keepers consignment, one of our new favorite hangouts. Uh, we are actually at East York today. They have two locations in New York. They have West York, which we were at yesterday, and East York, which we are at today. I'm actually really excited. We haven't been to this one before, and we have a lot of luck at these stores. And actually, the gentleman at the last store we were at yesterday was telling me that they have a grand tour, and a lot of people will actually plan out a trip and they will hit every single store in one day and uh, along the way there are certain places to eat and it was just like it was so cool I'm like I have to do that so after this store there will be one last store that we have not been to and that one is in Shrewsbury so we're gonna have to make a plan to go out and visit that one but we're about to head in and see what we can find that we can flip for a profit so here we go basket well, these are actually pretty cool. These are apparently Tiffany and Company. Tiffany and Company. Jean Moore. My goodness, that music is so loud. I can't even handle it. Now, Andrew says that Christmas music is not copyrighted. I don't know. We're going to find out. What have you found? Raggedy Ann and Andy Mug. But their tags are different here. Their tags are different here? Yeah. No, they're not. Look, they are similar. Oh. Uh, no, okay, so the one in Hanover, well, it's not really Hanover, it's. Yeah, um, see, like this one doesn't okay, have that. Some of them are not consigned. Like, at the one in Hanover, they actually have booths. They have booths where people, like, set up their stuff. Uh, so some of them are not, like, consigned. Like, they're like, set yes. prices. Okay. But look, this is 50% off all items. So I was actually checking out this interesting purse. What this tag says small 1960s cloth clutch with leather trim satin lining and chin handle i don't know that painting job is just a little drab for me i wish it was more colorful Ooh, the music is so loud hey look it's a bare ass bank i don't know where we're going with this because he's got a bear ass okay you're gonna get me demonetized <laughs> Look, I found another kitty. We found a kitty yesterday. This kitty is $2.99. I feel like it would be $2.99 for a cat, even if it's made in Thailand. That's a pretty good price for a kitty cat. I feel like that'll sell for at least $10. What is this? That's kind of neat. Um, that's also $2.99. I don't know if it doesn't have any marks on it, though, so... I'm gonna end up leaving that. We've got some cookie jars here. Oh my gosh. Well, this one's locked, we have to ask. Oh, you have to ask, okay. Let's go ask. Oh, Hello, I'm Key Man. I'm the Key Master. The key Master? I'm the Key Master. Special, special privilege to open. To open it faster. The case. This is the video that launched this channel is this video right here. $95. They know exactly what they got. They watched our video. <laughs> oh, man. They know okay. exactly what they've got. What That's this? cool. Is this a whiting? I'm perfectly okay with them knowing what they have, but a little disappointed at the same time. Those are amazing. Amazing purses. I'm in love with that flame cord purse, and I'm wondering if we could get more than 95 for it if we were to buy it. It's larger than the last one we got, and I feel like we got 95 for the last one. This one's different too. This isn't. This is more than just a purse. This is kind of like a clutch. Yeah. Although I wouldn't recommend somebody carrying it around by this. And it's in really nice shape too. I know. I'm torn about it. I don't know. I have a feeling it's not going to be running off anywhere at $95. Okay. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like there's not a whole lot of people. I feel like there's not a whole lot of people that really know what those are. No. So these Whiting and Davis purses. It is Whiting and Davis. 
Is it Whiting and Davis? It is Whiting and Davis. Are you sure it's Whiting and Davis? I'm positive. I just checked. Whiting and Davis. says Whiting and Davis. There's a lady behind you that would like to get by. Oh, sorry. He's asking me, are you sure it's Whiting and Davis? I'm like, it says it is. Instead of saying, there's a lady behind you. Okay. Whenever they have, like, people on them with black, like, designs, that's when they're worth good money. For $85. I feel like I've picked those up before. Some are made in Hong Kong. Some are not Whiting and Davis. That's why you always have to check the tag. Gotcha. That's a beautiful piece. They're all beautiful. Very. I do like that box person. Upset, not too. upset. Let's look at this guy. Thirty-eight. Yeah, they know what they've got. Oh, I know. I'm, they're, I'm, they're, I like I said. And I actually, like, like, listen. What? This is a reasonable price for this. Oh, it is absolutely. It just doesn't absolutely. have room for a resale. No, that's totally reasonable. And but you guys very, now know where to find it. Yeah, very reasonable. <laughs> all right. All right. Moving on. Okay, I'm not really sure what all is going on with this lamp right here. He's super cute, though. And the price is a magical ten dollars. I almost wonder if he glows, if there's like a switch. What does it say? Oh, we just lost our shade. SB Enterprises. That's kind of a sad shade. Oh, there's a different price on the shade. No, no, no. Never mind. I'm fitting. No, I really like that lamp. I think I'm going to take the lamp with me too. So we got two items. We've got the dog and we've got the kitty cat. I just spotted this for Ashton. You guys know he loves art glass and this is just a little penguin nightlight. I feel like he'd really like this. It's really cute. So we're going to grab this for Ashton. Andrew, what did you find? Make sure you speak over the music. Oh, it's just a nice piece of art glass. It's I thought funky, it was nice too. Funky yeah, looking. it's interesting. I like it. I don't like it $20 though. Yeah. Okay, well we are somewhere new. We've actually moved on to the Dover Antique Mall. Um, we really couldn't find a whole lot at the last Finders Keepers, which is a shame because we've had a lot of luck at the other Finders Keepers stores. There just wasn't a whole lot of stuff for us to get for resale, but we did get a few items. So we've moved on and we're on our way home. We passed by the Dover Antique Mall, decided to stop and see if we can find anything else that we can flip for a profit. So we're gonna breeze through here real quick. Um, we've been here a few times before. I don't know if we've actually ever done a video here, uh, but you never know. So here we go. Let's see what we can find. We have found a quilt. It's a little bit overpriced, but I don't think it is for the quality. I mean, we buy quilts in worse quality than this, and they sell for pretty good money. Um, this, I believe, is the Texas Star pattern. It's primarily pink, <laughs> but... Uh, Oh yeah, it is that great design. Though. Yeah, it is. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. It's uh, it's seventy five dollars, and I um, I think we're gonna do it for seventy five. We have a lot of viewers who love quilts, and uh, I, f I feel like we could possibly double our money on this. So we're gonna pay seventy five for this. Hopefully, we double our money. If if we uh, <laughs> if we don't entirely double our money, I won't be upset. Andrew, here's a Fenton Cardinal. What's wrong with it? Um, there's no feet? What? I don't know. I can't, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's a cardinal. It. Yeah? What about it? It's yellow. Okay, so they haven't used yellow glass that day. <laughs> there's probably blue ones out there. There's probably pink ones it's out there. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if it was one of crimson and puce. <laughs> Maybe fuchsia. Stop it. It's just not right. Why do you do this to me? What do you see? I'm just doing the red glass. <gasps> it is a pretty amber, you know? Yeah. Ta-da! Ooh, look at those. Although I think they're 68 a piece. I do think they are Bristol glass. Did you see these? Do you think they're 68 a piece or do you think they're 68 togetherness? they're the same. 68 a piece. Oh, that hurts me. 
We're gonna walk away. We're walking now. I've spotted this owl that I'm actually super kind of excited about. And I'm actually a little bit shocked. It's marked $35. I, I, I looked it up. I actually looked it up. You guys know I don't usually look for comps, but uh, I've never seen this one before. So I looked it up and there is only one other example sold. And get this, it sold for only $10 and it was in perfect condition. I cannot believe a piece like this would sell for only $10. I think this is just amazing. I love this so much. That is phenomenal. I I might buy this to hoard. I'm not going to lie. They want 35, but it is 30% off. And the one I found online had actually red. It had like red eyebrows. It, what I don't know. Something just about the white, the white on white. I think I'm going to have to buy it. And I think I may have to hold on to it for a while. It may eventually end up for sale, but there's just, I don't know. I just, <laughs> honestly, I can't believe that something like this. Th now that was sold. I couldn't find any, any listed for $10, but, um, yeah, I love this piece. Okay. Well, we're here. I don't know. You can probably see my reflection back there. Um, this owl up here is actually the one that sells for more much more than this little guy down here. Personally, I like this one more. It's much more realistic looking than this guy up here who's just smiling and he's got his hand over his chest and I don't know. He's, I'm just not as impressed with him personally, but this one actually sells for more. That one, of course, is priced exactly the same, but whatever. Did you guys, uh, did you guys ever go to Cooley's? They got some. Where? Oh my goodness, look at this little Pekingese. He's so cute. <laughs> oh my. He's sweet. What is he marked? Vintage Dog Japan. He's something. He looks like a character. Alright, uh, let's see. Anything else? Got some Jim Shore. And a vacuum because they follow me around everywhere. Okay, here we have a wonderful Atterbury owl. Unfortunately, it's missing its eyeballs and there's some damage on there. They're asking $12 and, and they don't really sell for much more than 20. So we're gonna end up leaving it here, but he is kind of charming. He would go really nice with my Atterbury Fox. But if I can get one in good condition for about 20, I'm not gonna spend 12 on a chipped, cracked, broken one. Anyway, uh, we're gonna keep looking here at this booth. We've got so much glassware here. So much fun glassware. So there might be some treasures to be found. We've got some covered dishes, some fun glass animals. We've got this owl, hand carved owl. For 54 he is nice so much beautiful glassware look at this owl up here so pretty $24 does he have eyeballs no he doesn't <laughs> I just had to poke him in the eye to make sure but there's some fun um, perfume bottles better check out the perfume bottles all right, I'm gonna take a closer look. Ooh, look at that beautiful plate. $24, what? Probably because of this chip right here. Ooh. Yeah, that's probably why. I mean, honestly though, for the table on Thanksgiving, I don't think anyone's really gonna notice. You guys know I'm doing low blue for our Thanksgiving table. And by the way, I did find plates. I know a lot of you were sending me links. I was able to get some plates, but I don't, I really don't think that's that noticeable. And I think that, uh, I don't know. I'll have to track down Andrew and see what he thinks. For $24, meh, we'll see. 
Well, unfortunately, I've lost Andrew. He got distracted talking to someone about the Civil War. And now I'm walking around with this platter looking for him. Well, not really. I know where he is. He's still talking about the Civil War. Um, <laughs> so we're shopping solo. And we're looking for treasures. But I really want to just get rid of this and decide whether or not we're buying it or not. Um, we're on the second floor now. And, uh, ooh, I just spotted some flow blue. I actually have this exact bowl, though, so. It is $20, but this entire booth is half off. So, it's actually only 10 and then at the tree lighting ceremony in Hanover yes, it's half on Saturday off. night as well. Warm hands for Hanover. So I mean technically I don't think you can have too many. There we go. So now we have a platter and a bowl. But I'm running out of hands. There's a nice Williamsburg restoration slipwear. This dresser is so pretty. Now, I'm not really a fan of repainting furniture. It's just, you know, I know a lot of people are into it. It's not really my thing, but I can appreciate this piece. I really honestly can. This is just beautiful. 125. This is just beautiful. I love the way they did that. My mom just bought a dresser. Um, and she's trying to tackle a project similar to this right now, so I'm gonna have to show her this because this is just beautiful. I love this. That's awesome. <laughs> well, I just spotted this dish right here, and at first I thought perhaps it was a mistake because it's actually marked three dollars and I thought you know what what is it as is is there something wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it it's beautiful why are you lurking <laughs> I found Drew finally yes there's a chip but it's twenty four dollars you can't really see the chip what do you think it's transferware it's laser transferware but it's pretty not worth it. Oh, what about this for 10? It's half off. $10? This one I would grab. Okay. Well, then we can put that one back on our way back downstairs. But I'm going to make you carry it because my hands have been full for the past 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay, but I don't like it $30 like it. It's the battle of turnover. Yeah, but I don't $30 like it. I like it, but I don't $30 like it. What if it's 25% like it? off, unless marked firm? Um, so that would knock seven fifty off. Actually, you know, I've... But I wouldn't, I wouldn't resell it though. Would you like me to grab it for you since you are out of hands? Well, look at you. I'll just multitask. I just want to make sure it's not marked for <laughs> Why are you laughing maniacally? Ha. This is another Wallace nutting. But this one's only $225. Yeah, that's not happening. No, this one's really nice. But this is about, this is the same size as the one we got. Yes. For 60 Earlier this morning, but a couple days ago for you guys. 60 and wow. this one's priced at 225. I'm gonna scoot past you and you're nutting. I just want to laugh at you about my nutting. I'm gonna look at this. What is that? Orient and flume. That sounds like something that is not Fevril glass. Forget you. I found a teapot and now I know it's a modern teapot but I found that these really funky teapots sometimes there can be value to them there's collectors for these funky teapots uh, this one is a Robin Sterling teapot it's marked 12 bucks now I did take a chance and look it up on worth point because I'm dropping stuff all over the floor yeah stop that right now this is not the floor blue dish <laughs> right um, now, this right here has sold about $30, but there's some listed right now for $60. So I think if I can get between $30 and $60 bucks for it with a $12 investment, I'm good. So we're going to grab this. So we're buying these items right here. These are going to kind of cost average our quilt and cancel out the cookie jar that I'm buying for myself. So that's kind of how we're working it right now. I realize the lighting isn't the best here, but I just found another really neat piece. Um, and when I say neat, I mean check out that, uh, that purse handle clasp thing. I can't think right now. I haven't had enough coffee. 
Um, but it's got this Dutch scene with windmills and little people. Now it's probably plated, so it does show some signs of tarnish. But it opens really weird. I'm gonna try to manage my camera and give you both my hands here. Watch this. Check that out. That's really interesting. Now it needs to be restrung right here. And I mean, there is some staining on the inside, but they only want 12 bucks for it. And uh, I think that this alone is probably worth 12 bucks. And, and the fabric is fun. You could probably replace that. I don't know. I'm gonna go for it. I like that. Let's see what Andrew thinks. I know how much you love purses. Yeah. Look at that clasp. It's pretty cool. It's like got a Dutch scene with windmills. Isn't that mm. neat? Yeah, it is. I don't know. I just caught my attention for 12 bucks. I think I'm going to do it. Okay. For 12. That's good. Oh my gosh. That black velvet painting is phenomenal. $195. Yeah, well, it is amazing. I think it's worth that. Not to me, but to somebody for sure. Then over here. Check this out. I love this. And I love vendors who invest so much in their booth that they tell you exactly like everything that you could possibly want to know about what you're buying. I mean, look at that. It's like they used a ruler to write each one of these. I mean, that that's impressive. That is super impressive. Oh my gosh, this is, I love this. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. I love it. No, this is great. So much fun. What is this funky thing down here? Oh my goodness. What is it called? Pinky pig. <laughs> oh my gosh. And of course they have to have the sign. Probably much needed sign. Because even I want to play with these toys. Couldn't imagine Ashton and Juliet being in here. Goodness gracious. Wow. Those are so neat. I remember my grandma having some of these toys when I was little. I used to play with them. Okay, well, as I was looking through the china hutch in the corner, this piece actually caught my eye, and I was hoping that her note would have some details about the item, but she has it marked as a mystery bowl, which even intrigued me more than I was when I first saw it. Um, a lot of her notes are just observations about the piece, but I just really, I really am digging this a lot. It's got kind of this iridescence to the glazing. Oh my gosh, I don't know what it is about this piece. I feel like it's something good. And it's $40, it's taking a gamble, but at the same time, there's no real major damage. There are a few itty bitty little tiny it doesn't even want to focus on it. They're so tiny. Little chips like right here on this. And um, I think maybe that's it. That, that's really it. Just right here. Um, <laughs> but it's got this foot on the bottom and a mark. The only mark is K479. And a little blue dot. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna take this with me as kind of my wild card for the day. This will be my wild card, the mystery bowl. The mystery bowl, I don't know if it's Majolica or what it is, but let's see what Drew thinks. I present you with a mystery bowl. It's an ashtray. What do you mean it's an ashtray? It's got olives on it, it's an olive bowl. It's an ashtray. It's not an ashtray. It's an ashtray. Oh my God, what did you just do? I just showed you how to make it an ashtray. I don't know what to say to you right now. It's probably not an ashtray, but it looks like it could be. I totally ashtrayed it right now with my own cigarette. Get that out of there, it's not an ashtray. I'm going out front. Okay, I love you, bye. <laughs> Look at these guys. Look at them. They're so cute. If their eyes were just ever. If their eyes were crossed, they could hang out with Stanley and Steven. I don't want to talk about it.
Okay, well, I think we're gonna call it quits. We've seen a lot here today at the Dover Antique Mall. We bought a few items. Um, I'm pretty pleased with everything we got. I'm excited about the quilt to see how that does. Uh, there are just a few really tiny stains on it, but as far as condition goes, it's in a lot better condition than some of the other quilts we sold uh, that have gone pretty high. So, and I, I just, there's something about that Lone Star pattern that I just, it, it's one of the first quilts that I bought. And I just, it's one of my favorite patterns. So anyway, um, I think we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna head out and uh, we're gonna be posting a haul video soon where we talk about everything we got, what we paid for it and how much we can expect to get for it on eBay. So make sure you stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys tomorrow, later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs>